Now, ladies and gentlemen, by, by my understanding last time, if you guys remember, I told you, if you see two terms, you want to look to maybe see, can you factor by difference of two squares, right? Yeah. Right? And so you look at this, Hazel, and you say, you know, can you write this as a difference of two squares? Can you write 19 as a squared number? No. Can you write x cubed as a squared number? No. So the example that I just taught you, that's not going to work for a problem like this, right? You can't, you, you can't apply the difference of two squares. However, what we next thing we can do is look into, let's just see what do they share? What can we factor out that both of these share? So you look at these two terms, and you can write out, well, they have a GCF, which you can call a greatest common factor, which is 19, and then x to how many power? Squared, x to the second power. So now what you can do is you can divide both terms by out your GCF, and you're left with 19x squared. So if you do 19x cubed divided by 19x squared, you're just going to be left with x. And then negative 38x squared divided by 19x squared is going to leave you with a negative 2. So therefore, that's your factored form. Why is it factored? Because now you've taken an expression and rewritten it as a product. All right? So that's one. 